Hi guys, welcome to this video. I'm Prashant. I'm the founder of Word Pandit and I'm bringing this series of videos to you wherein I explain to you previous year CAT questions and RC passages. This is a video which deals with an RC passage. This is a passage analysis video. As the name explains, we analyze a passage. We pick up the important pointers, inferences, anything which is relevant, anything which is going to help you solve the RC. Now this particular passage, it deals with the topic of metric fixation. This is an interesting topic. After reading this passage, you will think deeply about this topic and you'll see that metric fixation is all around us. Let's get started. What does the passage exactly talk about? Let's dig into it. More and more companies, government agencies, educational institutions and philanthropic organizations are today in the grip of a new phenomena, metric fixation. Basically, these all these institutions mentioned are following it what is it the key components of metric fixation are the belief that it is possible and desirable right it is possible as well as wanted to replace professional judgment acquired through personal experience and talent with numerical indicators of comparative performance based upon standardized data complicated line in simple words you are replacing basic human judgments for example uh, there might be a lead manager managing a group of salesmen right and he might judge it through his personal experience and talent who is performing well, who's not now that has been replaced by what that has been replaced by data so instead of that manager's view what are we going to look at we're just going to look at the sales data who did what and we are not going to judge it based on the circumstances there might be some people who might have tough clients right or they might have a tough set of leads so we'll ignore all of that and just look at the data and the best way to motivate people within these organizations is by attaching rewards and penalties to their measured performance so performance that you have on those metrics that decides your rewards and penalties. The rewards can be monetary in the form of pay for performance, say, or reputational in the form of college rankings, hospital ratings, surgical report cards, and so on. So these rewards can be anything. They can be monetary in nature, or these can be reputational. These, can, these could involve promotion, so on and so forth. But the most dramatic negative effect of metric fixation is its propensity to incentivize gaming. Now, the word but, obviously, this is where the author changes course. This is where he introduces a negative and he changes direction. Now he says the most dramatic negative of uh, metric fixation is its propensity to incentivize gaming. Now what is gaming, right? What does the author mean by gaming here? This is not gaming in the traditional sense where you are playing a game. This is gaming when you are using the very systems, rules, procedures that were meant to protect the system, that were meant to enhance the system. You manipulate those in order to gain something out of the system. So what does this gaming of the system do? It's basically cheating the system. It's conning the system, right? It's tricking the system. Now, what does this do? It encourages professionals to maximize the metrics in ways that are at odds with the larger purpose of the organization. So which is going to happen. And now the author is going to give us examples of this. Uh, if the rate of major crimes in a district becomes the metric according to which police officers are promoted, so obviously if the rate is lower, the officer is supposedly performing well and his promotion depends upon this rate of major crimes, then some officers will respond by simply not recording crimes or downgrading them from major crimes offenses to misdemeanors. So you change the classification of the crime or you don't report it, your report card becomes better or take the case of surgeons. When the metrics of success and failure are made public, affecting the reputation, Income, some surgeons will improve their metric scores by refusing to operate on patients with more complex problems whose surgical outcomes are likely to be negative. Who suffers? The patients who don't get operated upon. So who suffers here? The patients who don't get operated upon, right? Again, what have the police officers done? What have the doctors or the surgeons done in this particular case? They have taken care of their own personal numbers. So now you're focusing on your personal numbers. You're trying to basically trick the system into believing that you are performing very well what is going to happen to the overall larger purpose of the organization the overall police department is going to suffer the hospital is going to suffer the patients are going to suffer so this is how uh, the system is gamed and this is a major major negative of being fixated with matrix right uh, effectively what it does is it takes out all the subjective evaluations out of the picture and makes it very objective which then becomes open to manipulation this is what the author is suggesting the author takes this forward when he says, when reward is tied to measured performance, metric fixation invites just this sort of gaming. But metric fixation also leads to a variety of more subtle, unintended negative consequences. This is the obvious one. There are others as well. These include goal displacement, which comes in many varieties. 
So what is goal displacement? When performance is judged by a few measures and the stakes are high. So for example, keeping one's job, getting a pay rise, raising the stock price at the time of the stock options are vested, people focus on satisfying those measures, often at the expense of other more important organizational goals that are not measured. The best known example is teaching to the test a widespread phenomena that has distorted primary and secondary education in the US since the adoption of the No Child Left Behind Act of 2001. Now, what would this be? What would this stand for teaching to the test? Very simply, students are supposed to clear tests there if the performance of the school, the performance of teachers, etc. is judged on the basis of scores, right? The scores that students achieve on standardized tests. Now, if the performance of schools, teachers, students, everything is linked to the scores on the standardized tests, what is going to happen? Learning outcomes are now going to change. The learning outcomes are now going to be driven by test scores rather than actually teaching something to the kid, right? So the goal has been displaced. So this is how this is an example of goal displacement, right? So first there was gaming of the system. In this paragraph, there is goal displacement. And in the next paragraph, we have short termism as another negative. The term itself implies that you will be promoting short term, uh, short term goals rather than long term goals. Measured performance encourages what the US sociologist Robert Merton in 1936 called the imperious immediacy of interest. So imperious immediacy refers to arrogant immediacy, right? Where the actor's paramount concern with the foreseen immediate consequences excludes consideration of further or other consequences. In short, advancing short-term goals at the expense of long-range considerations. This problem is endemic. Endemic as a word, it means when it comes to diseases, it refers to a disease which is affecting a particular area. In this particular case, endemic here is referring to something which is restricted to or limited to particular areas, companies, organizations. This problem is endemic to publicly traded corporations that sacrifice long-term research and development and the development of their staff to the perceived imperatives of the quarterly report. So for making sure that their report looks good, they would sacrifice their long-term R&D. The author ends on a slightly sarcastic note when he says to the debit side of the ledger must also be added the transactional cost of metrics, the expenditure of employee time by those tasked with compiling and processing the metrics in the first place, not to mention the time required to actually read them. So this is the sarcasm in the end. So he's saying you should also actually add the cost of measuring these metrics and the cost of going through these metrics, right? And there is a subtle, there is a small amount of sarcasm here implied that this is actually not of much value. So you are wasting your time, right? So the author basically outlines to us three negatives of metric fixation, which are gaming, goal displacement and short termism. These are the three negatives which are explained in the paragraph in the passage. The passage is all about metric fixation and its negatives, its issues. Hopefully so you've understood the passage and the important pointers from this and this passage analysis video has clarified the passage for you. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video and as always happy learning.